<laughs> yes, but let's reverse this. No, I already turned it off. But it's facing me, so I want to face you. All right. Okay. Oh, no, turn it around to me. It was yeah. around to you. Turn it around. No, so the lens is Okay. Okay, there you go. Yes, you can cut off things before it's uploaded. So this week's Parsha has a, a tremendous lesson in, if you'll call it public relations, advertising, presenting oneself, and it's something that's important, I think, for us to keep in mind. So what is the lesson? Yaakov is about to meet his brother Esau after not having seen him for over 20 years, if not even more than that, so he prepares a gift to send his brother. So the Torah says that he has uh, 200 she-goats and 20 he-goats, 200 ewes and 20 rams, 30 milk camels and their colts, 40 kine and 10 bulls, a tremendous amount of animals. And then he sets them up with the shepherds to go and to bring them. And then he says, V'revach tosimu bein eder vein eder. Pass before me and put a space between each one of the droves. What's the reason for that space between each one of the droves? In spite of the fact that there were a tremendous number of animals over here, he wanted to stretch out the parade. Why did he want to stretch it out? Because he wanted it to look even larger than it was. Because what was he doing? He was involved in advertising in presenting to his brother how much he admired him how much he missed him how much he cared for him the type of this wonderful gift that he was giving to his brother as large as it was he wanted it to appear even larger so what's the lesson what's the application when we want to present the shul in any way what we have to do is the same thing that doesn't mean to lie that doesn't mean to bend the truth. It doesn't even mean to stretch the truth, but rather what it means is to present it in the best light possible. Obviously, Asav is a man of the field. He knows if something is stretched out too far and it looks fake. He's going to know what it is. However, it's presented in such a way that it looks the best. And that's what we have to do when we speak to anyone about the shul, about our involvement, about the things